yeah. Like you want to go left at the next like four. Oh, that's a good spot. Right on the water. Also, it was weird falling asleep with the rushing water sound right beside you. That was interesting. Was it that fork? No, no, no. It's it's uh. It's right up. That's hot. You know what it is? Lighten. Lighten. Potato, potato. Well, no, that's how you pronounce the name of the place. We were Edmonton. correct. We were correct. Toronto. We were corrected specifically by the guy in Lillooet. Here's day two of camping. Nicole's now got a nice fuzzy blanket. Yes, this will be an upgrade. Opposed to last night where it was just mattress and exhaustion. This is pretty neat. These little poles go into this hole there at an angle and then you bend them up. Boom, rain screen. This is a much less stressful day of setting up camp. Yeah, we have some firewood this time. Yay! That's apparently $12 worth of redwood. Our, uh, our ladder fence has held up. It's working perfectly. Yay, Alan. Alan keys. And all of his keys. They're there to hold those. We could tape them. Maybe we should tape them. But uh, they're working anyway, so far. Just gotta be gentle with it. <laughs> well, as expected, this thing is definitely a conversation starter. That we know for sure. Kind of anticipated and hoped for. Yeah. This weekend is sorting party. Sayers Lake. They're saying it. Listen to the frogs on the dock of the lake. We got a camping spot here. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 
this would be hard for the Outlander to do. Yep, it would. Just be like squealing its tires and everything. Yeah, think of all the places we can go that we couldn't before. Think of all the places we can go and get stranded that we couldn't go before. <laughs> Solar power tracking. We'll get one eventually. Yeah, we've, um, you basically get like a monthly order of supplies and have been for years at this point. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is with Canada Post, you have a thing called Flex Delivery. And then you can change your Flex Delivery address to literally any Canada Post depot across Canada. Oh, cool. So you just say, okay, now we're in Moose Jaw. Yeah. Now we're in Calgary. Now we're in Ontario. And it's just like, drop ship wherever the heck you need it to amazing and just say hi i'm here and they're like oh let me see your address <laughs> you're my address man yeah honestly nicole it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a sticker that like matches something that we actually have access to yeah we'll about that when the licenses expire Yeah, flex delivery has been such a great way to get mail through Canada Post. In the States, we used uh, U P USPS. I think I just used one of their addresses. They didn't like it. <laughs> it still worked, though. Well, here we are making content. Look at this piece. R1 <gasps> toe access. CVR toe HD access. black. Okay, maybe that's toe meant. Toe hitch cover. That's meant to come off. That's okay. Yeah, it's the toe hitch right on the back. There. Oh, there you go. Now we can tow something. Oh, <laughs> great. Putting, this oh, is really great. just putting it to the limit. Looks though. like we hit this rock right here. That's all it took. One little rock. Go, go inspect it. <laughs> Let's see. This is just going to clip right back on. Hunky yeah, dory. Right. <laughs> Day two, we've broken two things. Yeah, that's broken. There you go. Is it really? Yeah. Broken, broken. Broken, broken. <laughs> and the connector, too, right here. The oh. All has to come off and reattach. Oh, man. There you go. Well. I feel like that thing is not actually, you know, it's meant to be broken. Almost. <laughs> Dang. Perhaps. Doesn't look like an essential piece. <laughs> That's not a battery <laughs> pack. That's good. Yeah. <sighs> well. Dang. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> So here we are, we're uh, about 5-10 kilometers away from the, the highway out of here. That was by far the gnarliest road I've ever been up. And it's just like a standard forest service road, so it goes to show you where my competency in trucks are. I guess I'm a truck guy at this point. We got up there and it said we had 197 kilometers left on our range. Of course that's largely to do with the efficiency calculation. But it said we had 41% battery power left. We're now pretty much on the straightaway out and we have 209 kilometers. Of course, that's again, largely due to the efficiency of going down rather than up. But our battery pack went from 41% to now 43%. That's basically like somebody was at the top of that hill waiting for us and then decided to just leave a free jerry can of gas for us at the top. And so we basically filled up a little bit of gas, came back down. The, <laughs> most people who go up there, if not everybody so far, they go up and all they get when they come down is more dirt on their truck. <laughs> so we got that too. We also pinged a, <laughs> a panel cover off the Rivian 
Oops. <laughs> but we also came down with more fuel. We're now at 44%. Wow, just going up and up as we go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool.